The combat rifle is the soldier's closest companion. Despite the revolution in battlefield tactics over the past 100 years, it is still the mainstay of every modern army in the world. No other weapon in the arsenal plays such a key role on the battlefield. The combat rifle is the primary weapon in both spearheading attacks or defending the front line. They have constantly evolved to meet new challenges, and today's combat rifles are among the most accurate and reliable weapons on the modern battlefield. Now, top tens will test, assess, and grade the most innovative and effective combat rifles in history. It's the infantry's job to take ground and hold it from the enemy. And wherever the infantry go, their combat rifles go with them. As history has proved time and again, it's often the quality of the infantryman's rifle that can make the difference between failure and getting the job done. Based on expert opinion, audience polls, and technical comparison, we've constructed a five-point matrix that will rank the top 10 combat rifles of all time. At number 10, a comeback kid once thought to be washed up, but is now back on active duty. M14, type semi or fully automatic rifle. Country of origin, United States. Caliber, 7.62 by 51 millimeter. Cartridge capacity, 20 rounds. Muzzle velocity, approximately 2,799 feet per second. Rate of fire, 700 to 750 rounds per minute. In the late 1940s, U.S. Army tacticians began to analyze the performance and tactical deployment of their weapons during World War II. Their assessment would ultimately lead to the creation of a new battle rifle. At the end of World War II, an American infantry rifle platoon might have an M1 rifle for the rifleman, a Browning automatic rifle in each squad, a Thompson or Grease gun, submachine gun, all in one platoon. This made ordnance a real problem trying to get ammunition for all of these. So a decision was made to develop one weapon that would replace as many of those as possible. The result was the M14. First fielded in 1957, the M14 was a tough customer. In trained hands, it was accurate to ranges of 800 yards. The M14 is what I grew up in when I was in the Marine Corps, and uh, I qualified with the, with the weapon. And it is superb. It could work when it was wet, and it could work when it was sandy, and it was muddy and filthy. And not only did it work, if you hit somebody with it, you're going to knock them down. That stopping power came from the M14's big-hitting 7.62-millimeter round. If you're walking through the swamps of Vietnam up to your chin in warm mud, you can take tremendous comfort in the fact that the M14 puts down range a 7.62 millimeter NATO round that is capable of punching through the jungle, of punching through vegetation and still killing the Viet Cong or the NVA guy and killing the guy behind him. But the M14 wasn't perfect. Soldiers in Vietnam struggled with the weight of the weapon and its ammunition. From 1964, it was gradually phased out, making it the shortest-lived battle rifle in U.S. military history. But despite being taken out of service, the M14 refuses to lie down and go away. Navy SEALs have adopted it as a specialized sniper rifle. And in Iraq and Afghanistan, old M14s were dusted off and sent into frontline duty. In an urban situation and in the desert, they work a lot better than the lighter calibered M16. You take an M14 out of the warehouse, that M14 can be used to go through the sandbag and still tag somebody behind it. It can blow the door off the hinges. The M14 has provided the U.S. military with a $1,000 solution to a million-dollar question. Its accuracy is excellent. Combat effectiveness is also high. Innovation and handling are average, 
and despite its recent comeback, service length is low. That leaves the M14 at number 10 on our list. In ninth place is the granddaddy of the modern assault rifle. A weapon so revolutionary, its existence was kept secret from Hitler. Sturmgewehr 44. Type, semi or fully automatic assault rifle. Country of origin, Germany. Caliber, 7.92 by 33 millimeter. Cartridge capacity, 30 rounds. Muzzle velocity, approximately 2,133 feet per second. Rate of fire, 500 rounds per minute. By the eve of the Second World War, most countries realized that the nature of infantry combat had changed. They want something that can punch harder than a submachine gun, but which can fire more than a bolt-action rifle. The weapon the Germans conceived was called the MP43, and it had a new caliber of bullet. It wasn't a pistol caliber, which would have made it a submachine gun, and it wasn't a full-powered rifle caliber. They just took their 7.92 cartridge, it roughly cut it in half. The lighter bullet created for the rifle meant that the soldiers could carry more rounds with them. It also allowed the weapon to be fired on automatic with a reasonable degree of accuracy. The thinking was sound, but before full production could proceed, the men behind the weapon would have to get the Fuhrer's blessing. Hitler, having been in the trenches in the First World War, had his own ideas, and perhaps wrong ideas, about what the soldier needed on the modern battlefield. And he didn't think that pursuit of an intermediate round, something stronger than a submachine gun, was really needed. But when he's demonstrated the weapon, he realizes, finally, its utility on the modern battlefield. Hitler also realizes he has the capability here for a propaganda win, and he renames the weapon the Sturmgewehr 44, literally the Storm Weapon 44, or, this, or the Assault Rifle 44. The Sturmgewehr came too late to save Germany from defeat, but its groundbreaking design did point the way to future weapon development. As a result, it scores top marks for innovation. Handling and combat effectiveness also rate high. But with a service length of just two years and limited accuracy, the Sturmgewehr places ninth in our list. At number eight, it's the rifle soldiers called the weapon of silent death. If you hear it fire, you're already dead. 1903, Springfield. Type, bolt action rifle. Country of origin, United States. Caliber, 30 or 6. Cartridge capacity, 5 rounds. Muzzle velocity, approximately 2,700 feet per second. Effective range, 656 yards. Rate of fire, 10 rounds per minute. Issued in 1903, the Springfield's origins date back to the late 19th century, when American soldiers armed with Krag Jorgensen rifles took a beating from the Spanish. Going against the Spanish army in Cuba, they found how outclassed they were, because the Spanish soldier was armed with a 7mm clip-fed Mauser made in Germany. As a result, the United States looked very closely around the world for other ideas, and they adopted the Mauser themselves. American designers took the best of what the Mauser had to offer, tweaked it, refined it, and produced a magazine-fed rifle that boasted phenomenal accuracy. President Theodore Roosevelt, a rifle enthusiast, bagged more than 300 animals with his custom-built model. American soldiers also loved it. The 1903 quickly gained a reputation as an outstandingly accurate and powerful firearm. Marksmanship in the Marine Corps was a very important thing. So when they got hit with Japanese charges, uh, they were able to pick these guys off uh, but before they got to the wire. The Springfield was eventually replaced, but it continued to be used as a specialist sniper rifle until the Vietnam